All right, so we got a couple of the other packs in, and uh, we're going to be evaluating the 3V Gear VLOX 2. Probably do that one next. And the Condor Mini, or Assault Pack Small. You can tell this one is quite a bit smaller than the other two packs. The uh, outdoor products and the VLOX are similar in size. Um, this one's smaller. Condor doesn't offer a bag really in that same size range. Their next size up is pretty substantial um, and it's more over the budget range I was trying to stay in for this review. So we'll look at these two and waiting on the uh, LA Police gear. So that'll probably be the last one to review, but we'll go ahead and uh, move forward with the VLOX 2 next. But so far, that's my favorite as far as looks is concerned of the three. All right, so there's the Condor pack, all packed up with all the gear. And surprisingly, it all fits. It's a pretty small, it's a smaller pack. And again, you, you know, you need that. The water bottle holder, which is fine, I had it, no big deal. Um, but it's just a little bit smaller. But it, I mean, everything fits, so, you know, that's pretty awesome that it fit everything in there. I can tell you one thing, though. The one thing, you know, is I haven't taken the tag off this yet. I don't like is this. This is how the straps attach. Typically a strap, like on the other bags, is all sewn into the fabric. I don't know if they thought that was a good idea to not have it sewn in. It kind of loops through right here. And you've got these two adjustment, actually that's not even that, just this one adjustment point. Um, because of that, the bag tends to hang back off your shoulders and with any weight in it like this, you know, this was weighing in about when I say 11 pounds, um, it rides like really far back on your back. And I can already tell you, not even having, just, just walking around my house and stuff, that this pack was not made to carry that much weight, um, which isn't a lot of weight. It's really a light, light use pack. Um, it's too bad because it's really well made. It's got a really heavy duty nylon. It may even be higher than 600 denier. I need to double check on that, but um, that's how the, the hydration pack there has some nice, padding here so it's actually really comfortable if it didn't have a lot of weight but this design is kind of bad in my opinion it's I don't get it like usually I've never seen a backpack ever have the straps not attached to the pack it's kind of hangs loose so by by nature of the way of the pack it's gonna shift to the back which is gonna put strain on your back and your shoulders not gonna be very comfortable walking 20 miles with um, this pack that's a no-go so that kind of takes it out of the running altogether for me. Um, don't even need to talk much about it. It's a it's a it's a well-made pack, and it would make a good pack for like an EDC everyday carry pack. It'd be really good for that. Just something real lightweight to put a few things in. Um, but I like shoulder or sling bags for that a little bit better. But uh, it would be good for that. But for this kind of scenario, um, I don't think it does too well unless you're not going very far and you're not packing very much. I don't think I have that much in there. This thing is packed to the brim pretty much and it just doesn't handle the weight very well. So, great, well-made pack, not knocking the pack at all, but for this, it's just not right. Their three-day pack would be better, but then again, that's a little overkill for um, a get-home bag. That's more suited for a bug-out bag, so, you know, they need to, it would be good for them to release a pack uh, more in the size range of the 3V gear and the outdoor products. So, there you go. It does fit, but, don't even need to test it very far because I could already tell how it was sitting on my back and how it felt. If it was going to put strain on my shoulders and my back um, and cause, you know, some discomfort and, you know, back pain. And that's just something you try to want to try to avoid if you can. So, again, well made pack, um, really heavy duty, great stitching, great, great design layout. It just needs to be bigger. I mean, if it was the size of the VLOX and it had didn't have this strange attachment system for the straps, it would be a great pack. Those are my two, you know, negatives, but they're pretty severe when you're carrying, I mean, 11 pounds isn't that much weight, guys, and it's, it already, I can already tell it's going to be uncomfortable. So it's a very light duty, you know, maybe five pounds or less kind of bag. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching.